Eight News is digging into a nonprofit claiming to be providing extra security to Huguenot High School after that deadly graduation shooting. The issue, though, Richmond Schools says they've had no contact with this group and did not approve their presence. Eight News reporter Autumn Childress has been looking into this group. And Autumn, who are they and what have you found out? Well, Eric Heather, it's a foundation called the Uvalde Foundation for Kids. On Sunday, we received a release from them saying they've launched an investigation and they're now actively recruiting volunteers to patrol at Huguenot High School. But the issue, as you mentioned, is that Richmond schools say they weren't invited. Now take a look at their website here. The foundation, they say, is to end school violence. It was founded last year after the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. The website claims they're, quote, growing quickly with volunteers patrolling schools across the country. Now they say those volunteers will be stationed outside Huguenot as students return on August 21st. Now I asked the founder, Daniel Chapin, for an interview about this. He declined, but I'm told the volunteers will go through background checks and will be trained in self-defense, patrolling the perimeter of the school every week. Now, I reached out to Richmond schools to verify these claims. A spokesperson responded saying, quote, no one at RPS requested this group. They added that, quote, they wouldn't be allowed to do this without approval. Still, Chapin tells me school approval isn't required for his foundation, saying the volunteers will be present on the first week. Today, I spoke to school board member Jonathan Young, who represents Huguenot. To be clear, we need help and we welcome help, but what we do not invite is an organization that, God forbid, and I pray that this isn't the case, is attempting to leverage someone's tragedy for, for their own benefit, for their own parochial benefit. Uh, judgment is still out. Now, the foundation tells me they've already received 36 volunteer applications. Meantime, though, Richmond School says they will provide extra security if they deem it necessary. I'll have more on this tonight at 6. For now, though, live in Richmond, Autumn Childress, 8 News.